All right, more action. A thing I forgot to mention is that um, when you're doing that other training sequence, you don't really have a meter to tell you if you're in the red or green. It's just instinct, I guess. Um, possibly getting it perfect, getting it at one miss. Um, there's nothing that actually tells you how your training is doing. It's weird. Maybe a meter would have been great. Oh well. Next opponent is... Tell me what's going to happen. Oh, that was queer. Wait, who was that? Um, uh, who? That person? Uh, nobody. He's just the uh, newspaper delivery man. Taking the emergency exit is faster. Hey, that's true. The paper boy's a genius. I know, right? Anyway, let's talk about the rules for your next ranking battle. Rules? Something's changed? Yes, the association resorts to this when there isn't much activity in the rankings, or when there are too many strong fighters, or sometimes when we just get bored. Ooh. A battle royale. Battle royale? A fight to the death with 12 participants. If you win, you'll jump to the 10th rank. Damn, that's a twisted way to do things. You agents are becoming as fucked up as the killers you rep. Oh, we've always been fucked <laughs> up, as you say. We just wear nicer clothes. Fucked up assassins working with fucked up agents. Huh, doesn't get any better than this. Will you be the last man standing? No doubt. I'll kill them all in a flash. A battle royale. Interesting. Oh yeah. Guys, go back to that previous moment when I entered the arena or when I entered her office and pause the video. And then tell me if it's a paper boy. <laughs> I already know, but do you know? Let's get to the stadium. Tekken style stadium. I love watching a group battle in all its chaos. But those fighters, poor things, they never have a chance. Then where's the fun in that? The bodies of the fallen. Stiffening trophies for the winner. But the real hero hasn't even fought yet. And there was much to reveal. Interesting. What? Already? Damn. Is it my turn yet? <laughs> uh... Anybody work here? This is taking forever. Open the gate so I can kick some ass. Sensors suggest carnage level satisfactory. Who is my next victim? Question mark. Surprise gasp. You are identified as Travis Touchdown. Luck is an irrational concept, but your presence defies probability. Do you remember me? Question mark. <laughs> what? I don't know who or what the fu- Wait a second. Oh yeah. You're that fifth-ranked freak Henry sliced up before I got the chance to. Affirmative. After near fatal decimation, I had no choice but to take this modified form. Looks to me like you just gained a few pounds. Hardware was affected, but my pride was not. With determination levels maximum, I thought only of winning. It was meaningless. 
futile, illogical, but such is the curse of being run by a human brain. That brain also makes you talk a lot, doesn't it? Henry's the one who tore your shit up. But if you want to take it out on me, go ahead. All I desire is a duel with you. Desire level 100%. Revenge on primary target was previously accomplished. Behold! Same dramatically. So Henry makes a cameo. Before fighting you, I elected you to defeat UAA's formerly top-ranked assassin as practice sequence. This was same individual on whom I also desired vengeance. Efficient turn of events, do you agree? Question mark. Would you shut up? I just need to make one thing clear. I'm not gonna kill you because of Henry. I'm gonna kill you because your big metal ass is in my way. Devilish laughter. Activating main engine. I already know this. <laughs> Three, two, one, fire. Battle cry. <laughs> Battle cry. That was quick. Pretty fast for a tin can. Now it's my turn. So now you've seen his attack pattern. Be careful. Stay in the pattern. I can taunt. If I got hit, I imagine I'd be... Whoa. Ooh, okay, that's one I can't easily block. That guy's a bit of a pain. Oh crap, I still got hit! Ugh, cursed. Nice. Jeez. Jeez, this is a technical battle. This is quite a technical battle. I couldn't even dodge that in time. Gotta be careful. Gotta be very careful and watch your surrounding. Actually. Okay, that works. That works. This is how we should do it. Don't risk it. Technically, I should change to my low saber, but I'm doing good enough damage. He's gonna fire his lasers. Oh, crap. That came out faster than expected. Another batch? Okay. Go, 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 go. Two. One. Go, 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 go. Do I have time? Yes, I do. Stop it! I don't want to take the the pizza yet. I don't want to risk it, mostly because I want to try to charge the tiger. But for this, I'm gonna need to dodge that next laser beam. Go. As long as he doesn't do another one. Uh oh, this guy went faster. I didn't risk it because he went much faster than before. Now I got you. Running slash.
take your hits. Take your hits, but don't try to give too much at the same time. Oh crap! Oh, I missed. Okay, I still got Tiger. I still go feed Tiger. Close call, you little prick. Close call. Oh, okay, yeah. He screwed me over with that timing. You little bastard. Am I gonna make it? Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, douche. That's cool, that's all okay. Hey, come back to my range. That's great. And now I get to finish the job. Woman is slush! There is no escape from the wrath. Moku's wrath. <laughs> wow. So this is how you take care of Dr. Egghead. Gotcha. Spin it. So that was Dr. Let's Shake. Wow. He was a doctor? I thought it was only a brain. <laughs> brain in a jar. <laughs> what? You saw that, right? There she is. Master, it's been a long time. Shinobu, how did... Wait, what did you say? Did you call me Master? I don't have time for apprentices. You have any idea how much pro wrestling is backlogged on my VCR? I came to tell you I got back safely from Asia. You should be happy. I didn't even know you left. Are you listening? I'm not your master. My only desire was to become strong like you, Master. So I trained hard, and I fought to become the champion of Asia. Here's my belt. Oh. No way. You won this? That's pretty badass. I was told the competition was heating up in Santa Destroy, and my Master was overburdened. Me? Overburdened? Who told you that? Sylvia. She said I should come back and help you. What? Who's that bitch think she is, my nanny? Listen up, Shinobu. This is my war. I don't need help from anybody. Well, the thing is, it's kinda too late for this. What? Huh? What are you talking about? I'll explain later, Master. But you should go to the bathroom first. Seriously, it's a long story. Fine, but I'm not your goddamn master. So we have a return of Shinobu. <laughs> and as she said, it's a bit too late <laughs> not to help. I really like this kind of chemistry because the character has a much more uh, much more attitude than before. Or you get more of an insight on that personality. Also looks a bit older too. Maybe it's because she got rid of the whole schoolgirl outfit. Still got the whole Lolita thing going on. But uh yeah, I'm kind of interested in knowing what's going on. What did you do? <laughs> so we went from rank 23 to rank 10 <laughs> in a single slice. Hmm. Or in a single save. Sorry for interrupting your time abroad. But will you fight for Travis? Sure. I'm eager to kill, so hurry with the details. 
Straight to the point. I like that. Can you handle two of our top ten? Only two? That's nothing. Why don't I just take them all? You've grown confident. Yeah, but not overconfident. Unlike you, I can see myself objectively. Creepy little girl. <laughs> don't forget your promise. Double cross me, and you're dead. You cannot kill me, silly. You're not worth the stain on my blade. Hmm. Interesting. What the prom? No idea what the promise is. Press A. I like the soundtrack. Now you get to play Shinobu. You can do attacks. You can jump. Uh, you can do long range blade attack. And you can do air attacks. Uh, flying attack. Oh. So you have your jumping attack. And you have your flying attack. Sure you can attack. You also have your... Kikoken blade. And you sharp your blade. Instead of... So you can do melee attacks. You technically jump. So there are no suplexes. Uh, the chest look up. Alright. You also have no ecstasy mode. Oh, okay, gunmans, that's cool, no problem. Uh, you can also do the regular roll. And that's about it. Okay, you see that attack, that jumping attack? You are going to spam the shit out of that. This is the strongest thing you'll have with Shinobu. Um, her long range attack seems a bit useless. And I'm hearing those gunmans at the other side. Oh, wow. Oh crap. Okay. Might as well take care of that. Ooh. I like this. I'm gonna play gun, huh? I think there is a final attack when you uh, when you grab a person if they're stunned, but I'm not 200% sure. Jeez, I keep hearing stuff, but I don't see anyone. Someone's talking a lot of smack. Also, you do not have that slash attack that Travis has. All this for health. I might as well sharpen my sword. This is being a ninja. A thing you guys won't understand. Cyber Ninja, maybe. She's much faster than Travis, though. Oh, wow. Look at that speed. This is the low slash combo. Whoa. This guy uh, seems to have more health than anyone else. Wow. It's just different. Is there? No, there's nothing. Ah. 
To a certain degree, I don't like this odd change, but it's a good introduction to what she can do. And I imagine the best strategy for her is using her her speed. Also, maybe I shouldn't have just jumped, because I imagine there could have been some stuff here. Or upstairs. Uh, you know what, this is what I'll check. Remember, jumping preemptively is not the best thing. Ooh, actually, I'm wondering. Noah? Okay. Just being sure, or making sure. Because you never know. Anyway, let's continue this thing. I still hear people talking. What the hell? Uh, I did go down. Okay, maybe I have to go up. See, that's um, a thing that's kind of got me annoyed with that, that jumping system. It's because he's opening up um, multiple paths. And now there's more people back... Back upstairs. Oh wow, because of the taunt she did. Crap. Uh, so much hate. See, I was thinking about doing a melee, but then I jumped off. I, I don't know. I like the speed, but then there's a bit of the arrogance factor. There's the arrogance factor that she has, that Travis doesn't, you know, when he finishes off an enemy, he won't go, he won't do that last little animation, or a, a final stalling animation, unless you equip the long blade, and with her, well, she has this whole thing where she's, she does that pose, um, so, I don't know, it, it's an interesting change, I like the fact that you can play as her, but the thing it, inv it evolves or involves is a bit, a bit of a pain in the ass. Just a bit. But oh well, it's a cool change. It's welcomed, you know. What? Okay. Um. see the point, but... See? That little animation. I see I gotta spam that jumping attack. If I'm about to finish off the enemy with a jumping attack, then uh, with a finishing move, then I gotta cancel into the jumping attack. Use and abuse of her speed. That's the, the trick with her. Or should I say the strategy? Because you can't even beat people down for the uh, for their money. No Frankly, I don't understand why there is these lasers. Actually, I do. Wait, even if I do get caught. See, while they do their little animation thing, I can jump cancel. I can constantly do a jump cancel. Okay, so now I have to break those things. This brings up another annoying thing with this game, or with this segment. 
is that I'm gonna do some platforming. And I gotta jump cancel every time not to do my last animation or my last, you know, my finishing animation that's very unneeded and arrogant, but at the same time, gotta give the girl her animations over. Stylish for this hot assassin. Um, and this is the part that's a bit dreadful is I'm gonna have to do a bit of platforming. But first... Actually... Okay, I have no double jump. So first I gotta figure out my jumping distance. Figure out where I wanna jump in and up. Actually, why can't I jump here? Okay, there we go. See, small things like that. And I have to be very, very fucking careful. It's troublesome. See? Gotta watch out. Is it here? No, it's on the other one. Oh crap, there's one there. But these ones, um, these ones I, I can hit using my special Japanese blade technique of uber death. Oh, wow, I feel emasculated at this point. Really? Uh. Alright, well that takes care of your problem. Now for you, or both of you, hey wait, just look at it, please? No? Um, I'm hoping I won't have to do a jumping slash. I will, will I? Okay, well, fuck it. Uh, not to figure out the other one. There's one last in this room. So you can kind of see how this could be a bane of, uh, bane of existence. Oh, crap, I see it. Uh, how am I gonna access it? I have no idea. Yet. Crap. Wait, let's try regular method. No, not high enough. Uh, I actually have to access... Jump on this. On this. And then jump on this. Jump. Jump. Thank you. No, here. Yeah. Jump at the top. Then make a leap of fate. Then look at it. And then do my special shuriken... Wakizashi Thank you. Um, okay. Now to jump off. Because, you know, I, j I can't just walk off. I'm a ninja. That's what I do. And I can see a safe point here. Which gives me a good... Oh. Wow. So this is what happens when female assassins go and save their, uh... <laughs> Look at that, they even get a different toilet paper. That's cool! That's a nice little touch. That is a very cool touch, uh, design-wise. But... It just feels a bit forced. Wow. <laughs> It just feels a tad bit forced, you know? It's like, alright, I'm here to take out another assassin, so uh, I might as well get a shower. <laughs> Give me